hopefully I'm prepared. My first, first, first final out of the six that I'm taking this week is happening in 30 minutes. Am I ready? We'll see. <laughs> this first final is in my podiatric medicine class. I kind of, sort of didn't spend a ton, a ton, a ton of time studying for this exam. Just because I have a lot of challenging exams immediately after. One of them being farm, I have on Tuesday. So it's been difficult for me to dedicate time towards preparing for this particular exam the good thing is that it is not too crazy like you don't need to spend too much time to understand the information it's just a matter of remembering okay so I finished this first exam that's one out of six done I am smiling and in a good mood because it's it wasn't as bad as I thought it could be so that's a good thing I believe it went well but we'll see when the grades get posted because obviously that's how that's how you know if it went well or not by your grade. So this, this week is gonna be so rough. For finals that I've experienced so far, I usually feel how I'm feeling right now towards the end. So it's kind of like, maybe I'm hoping and praying that it's like a reverse thing so that I'll feel good towards the end instead of worse. It's okay, everything is gonna be fine. I have to believe that to make that actually happen. So I'll see you guys tomorrow before farm. Bye! Here's a zip zit update. I'm just kidding. Personal update. So, um, sitting out here outside of, oh my god, it's huge. Jesus Christ. My farm exam is, I came a lot earlier, like 45 minutes early, just because I want to make sure it's at 5.30 p.m. and there's usually a lot of traffic at this time. So, I'm not about to miss a whole final. This final is a little different just because I get my grade literally immediately as soon as I submit my exam, which is a little bit terrifying, but I'm just gonna calm down because farm is a lot of information, let me tell you. I got my grade back from my final that I took yesterday and it's a great way to go into this final because it went very well, but I'm still freaking out. Um, Internally, you can't really tell, but I am. This test is like brutal, really, really hard. So I'm just praying for the best, hoping for the best. You can be praying for me, but it already passed by the time you're watching this, but that's okay, I still would appreciate it. Hopefully I'm not crying after my final. See you later. Sorry for the darkness, it's currently 6.50 p.m and I'm driving, I just want to get my reaction, but um, that was a really, 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 really hard exam, in my opinion. For the level of readiness I felt in the beginning, like when t starting to take it, I think I did well. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I, I got very lucky. It could have been way, way worse. So I'm happy. I got my grade immediately after. I'm happy with it. Now it's time to stay focused on my next exams. Tomorrow I have micro. I haven't studied for micro at all, not one bit. So um, I need to get started on that because your girl is lacking. The good thing is that it's an evening exam again. However, the next day I have an 8 a.m. that I also have not studied for. So I need to mingle those two subjects together during my studies. So I'll see you tomorrow prior to my micro final. Hopefully I'm prepared. This morning, I don't know, today has been a very weird day. I've experienced a lot of different emotions. This morning I was like, I woke up at peace, motivated, like ready, ready for the day. So this morning I tried to keep up or maintain like a positive attitude but it like I felt like the time was going by really fast and I just found myself getting more and more frustrated it's only the middle of the week after this exam I still have three more finals like I, I I'm so like shocked that this is going how it's going but it's like there's nothing I can do but try my best to prepare myself for all these exams 
My pimple's growing 10 times its normal rate. It's just so crazy how like all the hard work of your semester basically lays in how well you manage a week of torturous finals. Like I don't understand why the system is that way. I can't let this destroy me anymore. It's like destroying me internally. Like it's like, ugh. Oh, taking away my peace of mind and I need my peace so I'm just gonna put myself on the back and keep it chucking keep it moving so I waited a little bit this isn't immediately after my exam I'm currently home now and I'm in the elevator I just need a place with better lighting the test was hard but I think for the little amount of time I had, it went well. So we'll see. We'll just, um, we'll see what happens. So now I'm home. And yeah, time to study for my 8 a.m. Look at that, it's already brighter. 6.47 in the morning. They made this coffee so good. Great start to this day. Cheers to Almost being done with finals. So I feel really, really horrible. I guess you always just try to like hope for the best. Regardless of what your situation is. I know I wasn't prepared, but... I, I was fighting back tears so bad that whole test. I don't feel too bad about that test. Probably the worst I've ever done on any test in my life, which is really scary because it's a big, big percent of my grade. So. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with that song because I stay putting it on my story. It's finally Friday, my people. It's finally Friday. I'm in good spirits. I feel good for now. We'll see because I have radio first and then I have path. I'm more scared for the path exam just because this that subject has been very difficult for me throughout the semester the first exam was like my best exam and i just kept like doing worse and worse so i'm hoping that this final is better praying this final is better yesterday uh, i was a little i was very upset i'm not even gonna front just because i just felt like everything was too much and i was starting to turn into like a very negative I was going towards like my negative side in terms of my outlook on things and how I decided to view things. And I talked to a lot of people, friends and family. They kind of reminded me of the person that I am. I'm a true believer in thoughts affecting your attitude and outcome. And if I were to continue with the emotions and let those emotions from yesterday like gear my perspective and outlook on the rest of the week, I wouldn't have ended things well because I was starting to lose hope and um, I don't know I was going down down the drain literally 180 changed my attitude and I'm ready was popping finals got nothing on me I only got two left anyway so but yeah just wanted to have that little heart to heart because I know I got a little emotional so so we're finished with radio and hey, wait hey. am I recording yes okay and we finished with radio <laughs> and it was it was good yeah it was easy radio peasy. easy peasy but now it's time for the big monster path so we're gonna get to studying and I'll tune in with you guys maybe before if not after so, I officially finished with my fall semester. <laughs> now I'm gonna just start cleaning, listen to some music, chill, and do a lot of things that I feel like I've been wanting to do that I, I was neglecting. So the exam wasn't as bad as I anticipated, which is a good thing. I'm just gonna wait till grades come out. I've gotten the majority of my grades back, and this semester has been really rough, but 
long nights and working hard it paid off so yeah that brings the end of this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions leave them down below in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed press that subscribe button i got a lot of fire content coming soon thank you so much for watching catch you in the next one